The sun is in my eye. <laughs> Hello, I've been wanting to make this video for so long, I've just never really gotten to it until now. I'm going to do an updated yard tour today. I did a yard tour like three years ago maybe, it's there. It's very embarrassing, it was my first ever YouTube video and don't watch it, that's all I'm going to say about it. So today I'm going to do an updated one because there are new things at the yard and new horses and lots of new stuff since I last did the yard tour. So let me take you, so that's my house behind me, you're not getting a tour of the house because it's a mess and it's not really part of the yard technically. This is Brambo if you haven't already made it, met, bleh, if you haven't already met her. Hello! <laughs> Hello! She's, she doesn't sit very still. Oh. And she, she does lick attacks a lot. This is Honey. So you can get a wee intro of all the animals if you've not already met them as well. Okay. So if I come around here, that's a vegetable patch back there. There's no vegetables in it. It's very barren. This is the seed shed in here. There's a lot of spiders in it. It's terrifying. I don't like staying in here for very long. <laughs> but, um, so this is all the horses feed. Pony nuts, chaff. Oh no, that's chaff. That's, I think that might be some sort of feed balancer in there. And that's just where the feeds get stored at night because we make the feeds up at, uh, for the next morning, the night before, just so it's quicker. And then up here, I think this is just for store and feed and this is all like the supplements in there. It's, how oh, Bramble, you're not allowed in the feed shed. <laughs> Come on. Right, we're going to get out of here before we get eaten by spiders. Come on. It's a beautiful day. Okay. Right, let's go around here. Be ready. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> okay. So around here behind me is the stable block, the indoor stable block. So this is well apparently Jazz is in here right now <laughs> in Clyde stable. Oh and Heidi's in here. I didn't even know they were in here. So here's Heidi. I'm assuming Heidi and Jazz are in for a little bit because Heidi, Jazz, Lily and Hannah are out 24-7 right now. So sometimes we bring them in for a few hours if they're getting a bit fat, <laughs> so Bramble's still here. <clears throat> I don't know why, she's just following me about. So this is Heidi's stable here, as you can see with the massive nameplate. I really wanted a nice nameplate like that for Clyde, but I think this the uh, website must have shut down or something, but I couldn't, I couldn't find it anywhere. So if you do see that website, please tell me because I want one for Clyde. This is Clyde's stable. This is not Clyde, this is Jazz. <laughs> I don't know why she's in Clyde's stable, but she is right now. That's Sophie's pony, for anyone that doesn't know. And Sophie's my sister, for anyone that doesn't know. So, um, I will just start up here. This is Jazz, normally Jazzy's stable. It's like a makeshift stable, it's not an actual stable, but we have four proper stables and then it can obviously be used. Like, it's completely safe for a stable, it's just it's got a gate instead of a door for the entrance. Um, Clyde's show saddle is here. I love his cow print silk thing. Saddle cover, whatever you want to call it. So uh, yeah, I love Clyde Show Saddle. It's so shiny and nice and clean. Um, <laughs> unlike my other stuff, this is just the bits and bobs table. It's full of bits and bobs. I don't really know what's in it. I don't use it. The only thing I use in it is um, the scissors to cut open the shavings. That's it. This is Hannah's saddle and this is a gel pad so that stops her saddle slipping. Um, these are Clyde's travel boots. They're just sitting there right now because I haven't put them away yet. They don't normally sit there. This ladder. I'm kind of terrified to go up, basically up there, I don't know if you can see the hole, you kind of can, basically up there it's like an entire different floor but it's full of spiders, like it's infested and I hate spiders so I, I don't go up there. It would make a great studio for doing YouTube videos, I could completely transform it into like a, um, like a setting for my sit down and talk videos but it's no. In fact, I'm gonna extend the selfie stick and point it up there so that I don't need to go up there myself. Just let me. I did find my selfie stick, by the way. Be proud of me because I I thought I'd lost it completely. Right. I don't know what you can see up there, but um, that's that. It. It's see what I mean. It would. Be, it's got lots of potential. Sorry about my shaky hands. It's hard holding the camera up this high, but um, it's got lots of potential. But I don't have the bravery to be up there. 
These are the travel rugs behind me. This one's Clyde's warm day travel rug and this one's Clyde's cold day travel rug. This one's my favourite. It's really cool and it's got Clyde's name on it somewhere. Here. It's very nice. I don't know if you can see that. It's really nice. This is Jazzy's saddle. It's got the Eglinton Pony Club num on because Sophie's part of the games team for Eglinton. If you want to follow Sophie, by the way, her name on Instagram and YouTube is my pony Heidi. She doesn't really post on YouTube that much, but she promises me she's going to start soon. So you might as well follow her account. This is where we keep all the stuff for making out. It's not very interesting. This, ooh, this is the box for all the saddle pads for Clyde. There's a lot. If you want to see my saddle pad collection, watch my saddle pad collection. I'm not going through all of them again. I have too many. This is where all the bridles are kept. This is the lunge rope. I met, I went to lunge like the other day and there was a spider in the lunge rope so I ended up just schooling him because that was kind of, you know, I couldn't get past that challenge, that hurdle in my life. This is Jazzy's bridle. You can tell by the fact that there's bits of orange hair hanging off it. This is Clyde's old lead rope. When I first got Clyde, he went through a phase of snapping every single lead rope he had in the trailer, like the bit that connects the lead rope to the head collar. He snapped it every single time he was in the trailer. And it's not like he was being an idiot. He was just kind of like would throw his head up every so often and snap it. So I went for a lot of money at that time. He hasn't snapped one in about a year though. So it's all good. This is Hannah's bridle, I think. It's the nice flamingo um, case thing. This is another one of Clyde's broken head collars. I don't know why we keep the broken head collars. I actually don't know. <laughs> this place is also spider infested. There's a lot of spiders here, especially in September time and spider season. It's especially in the house. There's like a billion spiders. It's not nice. That was my biggest fear when I filmed uh, this video, the equestrian challenges one, that I was going to get attacked by a spider. This is Clyde's bridal bag and he's got his nice everyday bridal in here with his pretty sparkly bread band. This is all our high vis. Remember to wear high vis out hacking, guys. Stay safe. And this one is Lily's bridal, I assume. Where's Heidi's bridal? Oh no, that's Heidi's bridal. And then Lily's. Oh, Lily's is in this bag. I didn't even see that bag. I don't really ride the other horses that much, so I wouldn't know. And I will do a video like that soon, though, where I ride all the horses in one day. Once I'm not studying as much, I will. That's my plan. This is my grooming box. I'm going to film a grooming routine probably for my next video actually, so you'll be able to see all the stuff in that and that. This is the rabbit's food. If you didn't know, we have rabbits. This is Clyde's saddle, his everyday one. This is Lily's saddle. And then behind me is all the hats. That's my little brother's hat. He doesn't really ride because he's allergic to horses. That's my mum's hat. She does ride a lot. This is my hat. I just got this. My grand and grandpa bought me this new hat silk. It's so nice. It's such a nice color. And you'd think it wouldn't, like I don't have anything that actually matches it, but wearing it with blue, it looks, oh, so good. This is my, gr this is Sophie's hat actually. She's got a plain silk on just now because I think she was at a competition last time she rode. And then this is my grand's hat silk. She's got a really nice one on actually. It's nice and velvety. These are all the gloves. I don't wear gloves that much for riding anymore. I used to not be able to ride without them because I got so many blisters, but I just don't use them right now. Um, I only use them for shows, to be honest. This is all our sticks down here. It's not very interesting. This is all the back protectors. Again, with the back protectors, I used to wear back protectors a lot more of often, but I mainly just use them for cross country. And if Clyde is being a bit of an idiot that day, <laughs> I'll stick a back protector on. Um, what's behind me? This is the treat selection. We don't actually have that many right now. We've got some Licket stuff, some Baileys, just like little bits and bobs of treats. We've got horse licks, horse, horse licks. None of this is sponsored by the way. I'm just stating the names. Um, this is a coal bunker. It has just a lot of bits and bobs. It's got nice saddle pads. It's got stud muffins. Heidi's ears pricked up there. <laughs> It's got our hat silk collection, which is very big. It's like 30 hat silks at this point, And then it's got some rugs in it as well. So that is the indoor stable block. And then the steamer's down there as well. It's not very interesting. I'm just steaming the hay. It's actually just a bin, but we call it a steamer. Here's Bramble. I'm gonna line the ground with Bramble. Ah! Mm. Kisses. Yep. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Bramble. Ready? <gasps> oh. Go! Right, bring it back. Oh, well, you just... Okay. This is the outdoor stable block. The sun is right in my eyes and my sunglasses just broke, so please ignore my face throughout this entire video. 
This is Lily's stable. It's just a stable. This is where I normally tie Clyde up to groom him, especially when I'm filming because it's like really nice lighting normally. This is Hannah's stable. It's also just a stable. That's the outdoor stable block. That's that covered. Oh, and the roof of the outdoor stable block, every time there's a storm, it like blows off. So it's terrifying. Eee, over the gate, this. And here is the rabbit hutch I'm in right now. They got an upgrade about two years ago. It's now like a massive run. The bunnies are in there. I don't know if you can see them. They're having a nap. Are you guys chilling from the sun? Yeah. So the darker coloured one is called Poppy and then the white one's called Angel. She's not an angel, by the way. And then they've got like this really cool hutch. They've got like two rooms, like a hotel. So then there's where all their hay is and straw and all that. So that's the rabbit hutch. This behind me is our garden, which is where all the washings hung out and that's just where we chill, sunbathe. Well, we normally sunbathe on the patio, but this is honey. I don't think you really got to see her properly last time. She just wants belly rubs every time you see her. Oh. Thank you. So Bramble um, is actually Honey's puppy. You can't really tell a resemblance between them, but she she stopped eating the daisies. Honey um, had four puppies in July, and obviously um, three of them went to new homes, and we kept one. We kept little Bramble, who's actually not so little anymore. She looks like a rat. Don't tell her I said that. Okay. So that's the front bit of the stables. That's the main part of the stables covered. Then if we go out here, are you coming, Bramble? And here, that's the hay shed. There's not much hay in it right now, but in the summer, well, towards the end of the summer, there's lots of hay in here. We also have a dartboard in here. Wait, and I'll show you my skills. Oh my gosh, there's spider webs all over me. I'll use this one. Watch this. Wow. In case you're wondering the noises, it's honey. I don't know what she's done. Oh, my voice just went there. We also have a foosball table over here. I wasn't aware of that. Clearly not being used in a way. <laughs> it's a bit, looks a bit. I think it needs a bit of E45. No, that's sun cream. I think. WD-40, that's what I meant. This is our outdoor trailer. Our outdoor trailer? This is our one of our trailers. It's quite empty on the inside. It's just a normal trailer. We decided to keep four of our trailers so that we could take um, four horses to events at once. So we could all go and race together and stuff. Bramble, you need to move. Thank you. So yeah, it's just kind of like a normal trailer. And then our newer trailer is this one. So inside this, this is the living bit. It's very snug. Bramble looks so sad. Oh, shame. Anyway, this is the mirror. This is where I look before my shows and give myself a pep talk. It's very dirty. There you go. It doesn't look so dirty at that angle. Um, this is a table. I can't remember how to work it, but it's a table. This is where we should cook stuff, I don't think we ever have, and you can tell by the cleanliness of it that it's not been used. This is a sink, in case you can't tell. I don't think it has any water in it. Hmm, what's in here? Oh, this is just storage. <gasps> That's where the basket went! Okay, glad we've learnt something new today. This is meant to film the horses in the trailer, but we couldn't get it to work, so we don't really use it. Um, then this is all just a bits and bobs for emergencies at shows, like spare hair bubbles and stuff. These are seats for sitting on at shows, and this is where I normally just shovel my stuff. This also folds out into a bed for when we're at stay away shows, and that's for obviously mucking out at shows. It's fun. And then curtains for privacy. Wait, I think that doesn't even fold out into a bed. It like folds out into a bunk bed, so that stays there, and then that goes up. It's kind of scary sleeping in the bottom because you feel like that's going to fall on top of you, but you never know. Then, 
Let's go around the back. This is the horses, but fucking. I'm wearing very stylish shoes again today. This is the uh, horses bit, so there's enough for two, and I think that's just a light actually. <laughs> um, oh no, that's the what's that? Wait a minute. Oh, I don't know. Maybe that's the camera. That's probably the camera that would make sense for me to. Oh, I don't really know what those are for. And then we tie up the hay nets there, and then round here. This is a tap locker, so Clyde's saddle and whoever else is coming to saddle and the bridles go there. And that's the trailers for you. Then under here, this is the football slash schooling field. That used to be a jump, it's not really a jump anymore. Sometimes we shove the horses in here if we're taking them out to a show and just want them out for an hour so they're easier to catch. So this is just the wee field, that's the muck heap over in the corner. So these are our lovely fields. Our, our house looks really pretty when it's nice weather, but not so much when it's horrible. So this is the main field that the horses go in basically. And then over there you've probably spotted that shed. That's just for paint and stuff. It's not very interesting. Most of the house isn't very interesting, I've just clarified at this point. Here's beautiful Clyde down here. He's right at the bottom of the field of course, just to make it difficult. Hey. So, for any of you that don't watch my channel very often, Clyde does a fell pony. He's the main, main part of the channel. That's why it's called the fell pony. He's a fell pony. He's 13 free hands. He's 13 years old. He's a teenager. He's very grumpy. And he's beautiful. And he's my horse. <laughs> he is right here. Hello. Okay, I just came to say hi. That's all. Okay, love you. Bye bye. The fence behind me is actually new as well. We got that built at the end of last year, I think. It's actually a really pretty fence. <laughs> I don't know what we got it for. I think it was just, um, cause we always put up electric fencing in the middle of the field. So it was just a bit easier. And it's good for separating the horses in the morning to feed them because um, I don't like touching electric fencing. So it's nice to have not electric fencing. Okay, so now I'm entering the bottom field, which is the one we use for hay. So. The jumps you might have noticed have actually all been moved out this field now because within the next month or so we'll start like fertilizing it and stuff and that's why we don't muck out this field there's so many people that comment like why have you not mucked out your field but we never muck out this field because we use the uh, poo that gets we use all the poo as fertilizer <laughs> it's like free fertilizer so that's why we don't muck it out because um it helps the grass grow so this all gets within like the next few weeks the horses all get moved out of this field because it gets fertilized and then they can't get back in it until like october time when all the hay's been cut and everything and then that hay does us for most of the winter um which is it's good but it's annoying because i like jumping in this field and now all the jumps have been moved into the small fields which is sad so this field here is our schooling field i know this i know i said the one up there's our schooling field but this one's actually I think we've been using it more lately as the schooling field actually. So all the jumps have been moved in here. I've not set up a course run yet because we only did it two days ago. And then this is Hannah and Lily. This is my mum and my grand horse. Hey Lily. So I don't really ride them, especially not Lily. Um, Hannah's 23 now I think and then Lily is about 15 or 16. So they're not young, they're pretty old. And then this is also the field that I come in for I come down to for my like daily walk every night I just go a walk in the field and listen to music and it's really nice because all the stars are normally out and because we live in the countryside there's not really any uh, light pollution which is really nice we've got lovely school markers there they're cones with worn away letters but they do their job um, and normally we actually grow hay in this field to this wee schooling field there's a cow that's not mine and then uh, <laughs> Normally we grow hay in this field too, but this year we decided just to leave it for a schooling field because we, it's nice, you know, it's a good field for schooling and it's nice and flat. I like the flat land for schooling. Right, let me try and get over this fence. Ooh. Okay, this field, very rarely the horses get into eating it, but lately we've actually let them in a few times. This is a pie one, by the way. Um, it's kind of scary. It's quite intimidating. Lol. Anyway, 
this field and the horses don't get in much but we'd let them in it a few times lately to try and get the grass down a little bit in it they only get in for short periods of time though it's actually a little lake thing river i don't know lake i'm gonna call it a lake it's a lake thing here and then over here at the other side of this field we've actually got i didn't even know this was here until a few days ago rory was here that's my brother and then there's a little sitting area which i didn't even know had been made i just don't get told these things um and it's got a little table and everything so yeah it's it's nice me and clyde might have a picnic one day or something then over here now we get to the fun bit of the entire yard um <laughs> this is one sec i'm getting a bit there's like so many weeds and stuff this is the trotter's den our surname is trotter in case you were wondering I'm not even gonna run it, it's a bit of a mess, but it used to be really well put together den, but now it's just kind of grass and trees and a lake. I think it's called a lake. And um yeah, it's just it's a bit barren right now, but see when the leaves like all come out and stuff in the summer, it's really nice and it's really hidden. It looks very open right now, it's not really a den, but it's really it's really nice in the winter uh, the summertime. Um, so that's basically the yard. I didn't want to make this a really long vlog because I didn't want to bore you, but I thought it would be interesting to see the yard because I get a lot of requests about it. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a like and a subscribe. And if I reach 20k, um, I'll try and organise something special because I didn't ever expect to be close to 20k. So I didn't ever plan for it, but now it's actually in sight which is kind of strange and i feel like i should do something special because 20k is cool and yeah so <laughs> oh and at this time of year all the butterflies have come out as well which is so nice thank you for watching and i will see you on sunday night at 7 p.m gmt bye